that we're seeing investors really shying away from taking long positions. I mean, what did you make of today's trade? We did see cautiousness reigning around the region, so the Australian market, the Korean Cosby, other markets around the region trading lower. Now that's despite a positive lead coming through from the US and the massive bounce that we saw in commodities overnight, with copper prices up by a massive 7%. We saw oil prices hitting a two-month high, but that didn't even help the energy sector today, which finished in the red. In fact, every single sector on our market ended with a loss, except for that material space. So altogether, it does look like risk aversion back in play. We saw that in currencies as well, the euro versus the US dollar snapping a five-day winning streak. And in terms of technicals, it does look like we reached a wall yesterday. That downtrend line that has been in place on the Australian market since April is looks like key resistance. So we hit that yesterday. Unfortunately, we've shied away from that mark. Of course, all eyes on Wednesday. Market really hoping for a European Union financial stability plan, but I guess a bit more pessimi pessimism are sneaking into the market today. Actually, Europe going forward. Let's get to some of the company news that we had around today, Julia. Um, we had lots of news coming from AGM season, uh, Billabong amongst them. That was one of the bright spots on the market today, in fact. Uh, sales for the company up about 20-25% 20, 20, on year in constant currency terms. But Julia, the Australian dollar is still a big question mark when it comes to Billabong uh, going forward, isn't it? Billabong is impacted by the Aussie dollar, but I guess there has been a lot of pessimism being built into the stock. In fact, in the last 52 weeks, we've seen the shares down 50%. Now, part of that was because of its last result. Not only was it disappointing, but Billabong really broke away from tradition and didn't give a full year outlook. So, I guess a bit of uncertainty built into that stock, and some of that uncertainty has cleared away with the three months up to September our results coming through. Now, if we have a look at sales in the three months up to September, sales growing by 25%, and that's due to acquisitions. It's been making all these acquisitions of retail outlet stores. In fact, if you strip out those acquisitions, Positions. Sales only up by 6% there. So it does look like their strategy of acquiring retail outlets has been a positive one for the company, and that's really helped to drive sales. That's also going to help to drive margins in an environment where the Aussie dollar is a key headwind. So I guess some of the uncertainty that the market had uh, had built into the stock uh, it had disappeared today. So expectations of strong growth in FY12, and I guess the market expecting more than 10% growth to come out of the company for the full year, and the stock up 8.6 percent today. Uh, one of the companies though, Julia, that did not do very well today, ResMed, of course, um, currency really impacting earnings there as well. But do you think that this could potentially be the low point for ResMed? Currency is a key headwind for ResMed, and that's because 70% of its products are sourced from Australia. And we know we've seen a very high Australian dollar versus a US currency, which has managed to eat into its profit results. The other 30% of its products is sourced from Singapore. And if we have a look at the Singapore dollar against the US currency, once again, we've been seeing strength there. So that's been a negative for the company. But if we have a look at growth, we've seen 9% growth coming out of the US. Now, that's below what the market was expecting. And it does look like the uh, the, the the economic conditions having an impact even on a product like ResMeds and we have seen them dropping their prices and that's really started to impact in on sales. So their quarterly profit result coming in at $50.5 million, that's below consensus and that actually missed consensus by about 4%. But I guess the bigger concern that the market has is around sales, especially coming out of the US given the economic conditions. We know that currency is a key headwind for this stock as well. So ResMeds stock really being hit quite hard, down a massive 13% today. And Henry, I mean, it seems as if investors are just looking for an excuse to get into some riskier assets, uh, but is, you know, the market really going to be treading water? Is everyone just holding their breath to see what happens on Wednesday and then we can sort of readjust from there? I think there is a bit more cautiousness sneaking into the market and Wednesday is going to be an important day. It does look like the German Parliament also going to vote on whether to expand the European Financial Stability Facility from 440 billion to around about the 1 trillion mark. Now that's expected to pass with flying colours so that was flagged overnight and the market's going to be watching that closely as well as a potential European Union Financial Stability 
plan coming out on Wednesday as well. I guess if we have a look at the market, one of the key indicators of risk at the moment is currency. And it's interesting that the commodity space really seems to be following that euro versus the US dollar. We have a look at the euro versus the US dollar in the last 30 days. This is what it looks like. So you can see that the commodity space has really been moving in line with the euro versus the US currency. And if we have a look at commodities, it's very interesting what's happening here. Not only is it being, being moved by FX because it's mostly traded in US dollars, but if we have a look at, for example, the oil market, we're seeing backwardation. And if we have a look at the December uh, this year contract, it's now more expensive than the December 2012 uh, contract. And that does suggest that the market is pricing in imminent easing in the US. We know that QE3 has started to be talked about more often, and I guess the market's starting to price in the possibility that we could see more, um, more quantitative easing coming out of the US. So the commodity space really being driven by FX, but also some interesting signals coming out of the oil market at the moment.